Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise him. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Is anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord just one more time? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't anybody glad about it. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord just one more time? Hallelujah. Listen, I'm glad about it. Uh, the song says, I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. church go up into into his gates with thanksgiving yes. and into his courts with praise yes. be thankful unto him and bless his name Hallelujah. here it is for the lord is good yes he is don't nobody know it for real for the lord is good the lord is good don't nobody believe it for real for the lord is good the lord is good oh, i need to get one more time for the lord is good the lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures yes. All generation, let's go before the throne of grace. Father God, we thank you right now. Thank you, we extol your mighty name, your majestic name. Oh, God, we lift your name in this place, oh God, because you are worthy of all the glory, thank honor, and you. praise, oh God. God, right now, we just come into the, your presence with thanksgiving. Oh, we come into your courts with praise, God, because you're worthy of it, oh, oh Lord. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, oh God, I pray that you will touch everyone under the sound of my touch, voice, oh God. Touch. God, that the church needs you, God. Your people need you, oh, oh God. Yeah. God, do what only you can, oh God. Heal, deliver, and set free in the name of Jesus. God, that there are things that we have before you, oh Lord. And God, right now we are petitioning you, oh God, to come and be with us, oh God. 
Make this place your dwelling place, oh God. Come and rest here, oh God. Come and rule here, oh God. Come and abide here, oh God. Abide in this place, oh God. Father God, we need you. Father God, we need you. We need you. We need your power, oh God. God, we need the wind of God. The blow of this place in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares that after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. So God, we need your power. Yes, Lord, we need power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to live right. God, we need your power. God, we need your power, God, need your power to take care of our family. We need your power to be good husbands, God. Power to be good wives, oh God. Power to be good parents, oh God. God, right now we thank you in that for your release of power, oh God. Yeah. For the release of your spirit, oh God. Yes, For the release of your abundance, oh God. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. And today, God, we pray that chains are broken. Yeah. That chains are broken in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The chains of, of, of oh, depression, oh God. No. The chains of oppression, oh God. Yeah, yeah, the chains yeah. of disease, oh God. The chains of addiction, oh God. Break it right now. Break it right now in the name of Jesus. Break it right now in the name of Jesus. Break it right now in the name of Jesus. Right in the name of Jesus. And God, let me so careful, oh God. To get your name all glory, honor, and praise. God, word the mouth of the speaker, oh God. Give him the words to say, oh God. Pour out your spirit even now, oh God. And God, we'll thank you now. Thank you. And we'll give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we praise my say, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I don't know about you, but God has been very, very good to me. Yes. Hallelujah. He's been so, so good to me. Sometimes I turn around and, you know, things are happening all the time. But then when I look back and I think things over, the only thing that come out of my mouth is thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Because the millions didn't make it. But I'm still here. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. So when I want to complain, hallelujah, I just blow it. And I say, yeah. I'm still here. Hallelujah. I'm still alive. Yeah. And someone else doesn't have that Thank nice you, thank you. But I give God praise. Can you thank give God you. praise just for being here? Oh, thank you, Oh, we hallelujah, the they fail us not, but they are new yes. every morning. Every morning. Come on, every morning. Every morning. It's a new day. Hallelujah. Every hallelujah. morning is another chance for God to bless us. It's bless another me. chance because guess what? He wants to bless us. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, he wants to bless us. Favor us. So it's another Favor. day. Hallelujah. Favor Jesus. Us. For him to favor us. And so we oh, give yes. him praise. Come on, we're not just making it, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we yeah. made it. We, we made are it. here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We thank you, Lord. Yeah, yes, yes, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. And I like you, Lord. Praise your name. You are great. You are great. You are great. Like the dew in the morning, simply rest upon 
my heart. You know, do us fresh in the Lord. Hallelujah. The night that you wake the morning simply rests upon my heart. Come on, I think you got it now. Come on, say it with me.
out there, keep giving God glory and praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. And only one name given unto him. Praise him. My man must be saved. That is the name of Jesus. The Bible declares the active name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every tongue shall confess that he yes. is Lord. He is Lord. I'm only happy about that. That he is Lord. Yes, he is. And the song also says, Only you are holy. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Only you are worthy. Oh, my. Only you are Spirit be saturated with yes, what you Jesus. have to say to our God. Oh, yeah. Saturate the atmosphere. Speak well of our God. God, we love you. Hallelujah. God, we Jesus. thank you. God, you're awesome. God, you're omnipotent. We you're worthy. Love you. we love you're holy. He, only you are holy. We love only you Jesus. are worthy. Thank you. There's no one else like you. Oh, he, yes, Jesus. No one under heaven. Oh, you're so mighty that, that the angels bow before you.
joining us online, I need you to share this broadcast hey. with those who are in the room. Can you just find somebody that you didn't come with and say hello? Hallelujah. Hello. Yes. I think participate. <laughs> hello. Have find somebody you didn't come with and say hello. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise Him. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how good and how good. Hallelujah. For us to come together in Praise Him. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Yes. Where two or three are gathered in His name. Hallelujah. The Bible declares that he is in the midst of yes, us. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's I, here. I, let me say to you, He's if you here. need some things done in your life, this is where it gets done in. Oh, yeah. I don't have a witness in here. Hallelujah. If you need some things done in your life, this is where it gets yes. done in. Yes. Now, one more time. Can you shout unto God with a voice of triumph? Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, if, if it's only in your hands, it's an applause. But, but the Bible said, his praises shall continually be in my mouth. So I need somebody to open up their mouth. Let's go beyond an applause. Praise, Let's praise the name of Jesus. Praise, praise him. Thank you. Praise him. Thank you. Praise Thank you. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Praise him. Ah. I need thee. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Come on in, Lord. Come on in, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. I say Bless the Lord. I'm done. Hallelujah. I'm done. God, we thank you. We get ready to have the word go for Is anybody excited for the word of the Lord today? The Bible declares that the entrance of his word brings the what? Yes. Life. So somebody here know the Bible. The entrance of the word brings the life. The Bible also says that the word of God is a lamp unto my feet. Yes. And a what? Light unto my path. If you need direction, this is where it comes from. Y'all yes, ain't talking back to me. Yes, Lord. If you're unsure of what tomorrow looks like, Praise today we want to introduce you to who holds thank tomorrow. You, thank, you. thank you, Jesus. If you're unsure what your future looks like, thank you, Jesus. today we introduce you to who holds your future. Yes. Get out the way. Hallelujah. Our past is going forth. Can you put thank your hands together as our past comes forth? Hallelujah. Come on and praise God again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's been good to you. Come on and give him praise right now. Let me hear it. Come on, make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise yeah. unto the Lord. I know he's been better than that. Let me hear you again. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hear now. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Hey now, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Come on, everybody in this house. Come on, wave your hands to Jesus and give them thanks. Oh, give thanks with a grateful heart. Say I am strong. Let the poor say. 
because of the Lord's doing that we're all here. Amen. Come on, give God praise for just being here. So glad that I'm here. We're going to the Word of God. Turn your Bibles, please. Turn your Bibles, please, to Mark, the 8th chapter, starting at the 22nd verse. Mark 8 and 22. When you get it, say amen. I know we're searching for it on our phones, turning to it in our Bibles. Amen. I do believe that most of us have it. You got Mark 8, 22? Anybody got it? Amen, amen. I believe you got it. All right, we're going to read. Mark 8 and 22 says this. And he cometh unto... Bethsaida, and bring and they bring a blind man unto him and besought him to touch him and he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town and when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands upon his eyes. He put his hands again upon his eyes. So he touched him a second time and made him look up. And he's making him look up again. And he was restored. Say restored. restored. And he and saw every man clearly. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. Say with me, how do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Say it again. How do, how do you see yourself? see yourself? Now give God praise. How do you see yourself yes. now look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor neighbor, neighbor. how do you see me, how do you see me? Amen. amen sometimes sometimes we are influenced by how others look at us amen, amen. so the reason why I had you ask your neighbor that question because sometimes people may look at you a certain way and you may act a certain way because they're looking at you a certain way amen 
If a person looks at you with a smile, you might just what? Smile back. Amen. 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 The Bible says, uh, he that have friends must show himself what? Friendly. friendly. Yeah. So if you're a friendly person, you're going to draw friends. Amen. Amen. And sometimes people wonder why they, they're not talking to me. Why there ain't nobody speaking to me? Why they acting funny? Maybe you are acting funny. Amen. And they're responding to the way that you respond to them. Amen. Amen. So we got to learn how to respond to people in love. Yeah. Say it with me. Learn how, learn how to respond. To in love. in love. Yes, God wants us to respond in love. Yeah. Love draws people to God because God himself is what? Love. Oh. Amen. Amen. So, so sometimes we let what people say or think about us influence us. Whether it be for good or whether it be for bad. We let what people think influence us. Now, if somebody tells you that you look good, amen, you're going to start acting like you look good. <laughs> somebody say you look cute, you're going to start acting cute, amen. You're going to start looking cute. You want to make sure that your hair's together every time you leave the house because somebody whispered in your ear and told you that you look good. Well, on the other hand, on the other hand, on the other hand, if somebody told you you were ugly, and God forbid if they do that. Uh, but if somebody said you were ugly, you might start acting ugly. You might start being mean to people. You might start hating people. You might start act doing stuff that's not good because somebody told you you were ugly. Amen? And same way, if somebody told you that, that you were smart, you start acting what? Intelligent. Because they told me that I'm smart, so I'm supposed to be smart. I'm supposed to have all the answers. I'm supposed to know all the stuff. Because somebody told me I was smart. See, sometimes we are influenced by what people tell us. Amen? We are influenced by how people look at us. I know y'all don't think I'm telling the truth, but I am. We are influenced by how people feel about us. Sometimes we walk around and say, hey, I don't know if anybody loved me. Because you haven't had anybody to tell you that they love you. Sometimes we walk around and say, I don't know if I'm being appreciated. I'm, I'm going out of my way and, I, and I'm sacrificing and I'm rolling up my sleeves and they don't see the work that I'm doing behind the scene and they don't see the sacrifice that I'm making. And sometimes you feel unappreciated. And you feel like just quitting, throwing in the towel because nobody seems to appreciate you. See, we are a sum total of what people, uh, we are a sum total of what others think about us. All right. I'm going to say that again. We are a sum total of what people think about us and what kind of opinions they have. All right. and, and, and that stuff affects us. And that stuff, stuff uh, kind of holds us back keeps us from going forward. But today, but today, I've got good news. Tell your neighbor, today, today. He, got he got good news. Today, I've got good news. So, so no matter how people look at you, and, and no matter what they think about you, and no matter how you feel, I'm here to tell you that God sees you in a whole different way. Come on and give God praise. Because the Bible says this, that we are wonderfully and fearfully made by the hands of God. Anybody out there that's wonderfully and fearfully made by the hands of God, you ought to be glad about it. Hallelujah. People said you are ugly, but God says you look good. People said you are, you're not smart, but God says you're intelligent. Yeah. People said that you'll never be nothing, but God said you are something in him. Yeah. Come on and give God praise if you believe that word. Yeah. I am so glad, I am so glad that people don't hold my destiny in their hands. Amen. I am so glad that God holds my future. Don't you know that God has given you an expected end? Yeah. Amen. And that expected end is good. The Bible says it's not of evil, but of good to bring you to expected end. In other words, what God has planned for you will blow your mind. Come on, come on and give God praise. What God has for your life will blow your mind. Yeah. But we got to 
gotta believe. We gotta believe and put our hands in God's hands. So I'm telling you on today that God is telling us something different on today. In spite of how you feel, in spite of how you look at things, God is looking at things through a different window. And we see here in our text that Jesus coming to Bethsaida, and he's coming to this city, and they bring to him a blind man. Say a blind man. Blind man. See, I believe that one time this man used to be able to see, but now he's blind because verse 25 said that his sight was restored. So at one time, at one time, this man was seen, but, but this life happens, and things happen to him, and he lost his sight. I believe, I believe at one time when we heard the word of God, we was full of joy, full of peace, full of strength, but life happened to us, and we kind of lost our vision. We kind of lost our focus, and we become as this blind man, a sum total of what other people are thinking about us, instead of focusing on what God is saying about us. Yeah. Yes, they brought the blind man to Jesus. Yeah. Because they gave up on him. Amen. At least uh, they, they might have given up on a blind man, but they had enough sense to bring him to Jesus. Amen. His friend said, I can't help him, but I know somebody that can. Yeah. Isn't that a good friend? When you can't help him, you lead him to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And what a better, who, who's better than to handle their problems? Who's better to solve what's going on in their life but Jesus? Isn't it good that you have a friend that can lead you to Jesus? Let me tell you, let me tell you, don't you try to be a counselor for nobody. Don't you try to be an advisor for nobody. When the trouble and the, uh, and trials and tribulations get too hard for you to bear, you lead your friend to Jesus. Just like these men did, they went to Jesus. Amen. And they brought him to Jesus so that Jesus could cure him of his blindness. Amen. Amen. And he took the man by the hand. Once they led the blind man to Jesus, Jesus took the blind man by the hand. Sometimes, sometimes we have to be carried away from the people that influence us the most. Because we think of ourselves the way they think of us. Now Jesus did miracles uh, around the country. He did mir miracles around different areas. Uh, but in his hometown, the Bible says, in his hometown, he couldn't do much miracles because they looked at Jesus as being Mary's son. And so it hindered Jesus from performing the miracles that he would do because the people had no faith. Let me tell you, sometimes it's good for us to get away, get away from the people that don't have faith in us so that we can be the person God wants us to be. Come on and give God praise. I, that's worth repeating. Sometimes we have to get away from the people we know Amen. so that God can do the work that he wants in us. So Amen. Jesus got this blind man from his friends. He took him by the hand and led him out of the city. Led him away from his friends. Sometimes we need to be led by God. Sometimes we need to turn away sometimes. Sometimes we need to walk away from the things that's holding us down. Sometimes we need to walk away from the things that's binding us. Yes. We need to walk away from the things that have taken our joy. Hallelujah. We know what's holding us down. We know what's taking our joy. And sometimes you need to walk away from it and grab Jesus by the hand so that you can be restored. Hallelujah. Anybody in here need to be restored? Come on and give Hallelujah. God praise right now. Before restoration came to this man, he had to walk away. He said, walk away. Walk away. He had to walk away from the opinions of others because he was seeing himself blind because everybody around him told him, you're blind. You know, if everybody around you tell you that you're dumb, you're going to start acting dumb. That's why you got to reinforce the positive. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. reinforce the positive. Speak life to somebody. Amen. Yeah. Speak life. Tell them you can do it. Yeah. Yes, you're smart. Yes, you're intelligent. Yes, you're a beautiful person. Yes, yes, God thinks the world of you. And as a matter of fact, God so loved the world until he gave his only begotten son for you. That's how much he loves you. Yes, yes, Jimmy may not love you. 
Susie might not love you. Peggy might not love you. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you. Come on and give Jesus praise on today. Sometimes you need to walk away. Yes, he walked. Jesus grabbed him by the hand and led him out of the town. And after he led him out of the town, Jesus did something weird. He spit on the man. He spit on a blind man. It's one thing to be blind and another thing to be spit on. Yeah. I don't think nobody in here can take anybody's spit on them, especially with COVID going around. I, I believe y'all say folks start fighting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all gonna put that Holy Ghost down for a minute. Hey, I don't know if this man got COVID or not, but y'all might slap him like Will Smith slap Chris Rock. I, I mean, y'all might just lose it. Jesus spits on a blind man. But the Holy Ghost showed me something that the natural eyes could not see. Jesus was not spitting on the man himself, but he was spitting on the spirit that made the man blind. Jesus hated the spirit that made the man blind so much until he spit on it. He says, I despise that spirit. I hate that spirit that got you blind. I hate that spirit that got you bound up and locked up. And Jesus is speaking right now to you right now. He's saying, I hate the demon that's trying to trap you. I hate the demon that's trying to lock you down. I hate that demon that's trying to keep your peace from you. Jesus is speaking right now. That's how much he hates the devil. Until he spit on him. Spit on the blind man's eyes. And put his hands upon him and asked him if he saw right, if he could see as he ought, ought to. Can you see clearly now? Can you focus? He asked the blind man. And the blind man says this. He looks up and he says, I see men as trees walking. Say his focus wasn't right. Say it again. His focus was not right. Not right. See, the blind man was so used to being blind that when sight came to his eyes, he couldn't believe that he was seen and he didn't have the complete faith to focus. You can be told a lie for so long until when God does deliver you, you still think you bound still. But God has delivered you. Somebody said, well, I don't know if I could quit this or stop that or do this because I've been doing it for so long. The man been blind for so long, he seen men as trees. He had problems focusing. But I'm here to tell you, allow Jesus to touch you again so you can see yourself as Jesus sees you. Come on and give your come on and give your God a praise. You need to see yourself as Jesus sees you. Yes, yes, the man got touched the first time and his sight came back, but he wasn't seeing right. And, and sometimes we have to pray the prayer that that like the man said in, in, in the book of uh, in the book of Mark in the ninth chapter when he had the son that tried to drown himself and he had the son that you know trying to set himself on fire. Sometimes we have to be like the man that said to Jesus, Lord, I believe, but help thou my unbelief, because my son, I've been seeing him suffer for so long. I believe you can deliver him, but then something is telling me he's not totally delivered. Sometimes when God touched you the first time, you delivered, but your mind is still saying you're not totally delivered. Right. But I'm here to tell you today that when Jesus touches you, yeah. you're totally delivered. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a total praise. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. you're totally delivered. Hallelujah. So Jesus Knowing that the man didn't quite have the faith to focus yet, he had to touch him again. And sometimes Jesus has to touch you again for you to get to the place where Jesus wants you to be. So he touched the man again. He says in verse 25, he touches the man again. And he says after that, he put his hands upon him again. He put his hands upon his eyes again. And he told the man to look up. Sometimes we've been suffering for so long we don't know how to look up. Sometimes we've been in pain for so long we can't believe. But Jesus went ahead and touched them again. I said earlier I believe that the man seen before because in this verse we're going to see that God restored the sight. Now God can't restore something that you ain't never had. All right. All right? God can't restore anything that you ain't never had. 
So if you ain't never had sight, you can't receive sight again, can't be restored because you ain't never had it. I believe that this man had sight before and it needed to be restored. The enemy came in and took his sight. Let me tell you, sometimes the enemy comes in and take what God has given you. Enemy comes in and take your peace. The enemy comes in to take your joy. The enemy comes in to take your contentment. But I'm here to tell you that God is getting ready to restore you. Come on and give God praise in here. I'm so glad that I serve a restoring God. So Jesus puts his hands on a man's eyes again and tell him, quit looking down, man. It's time to look up. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. It's, time it's time to look up. And, and, and the Bible says this, and he was restored. Say, say, say I, am restored I am restored because I'm looking up. Look listen, up. listen, the Bible says to, for us to look up to the hills uh, from what cometh our help uh, because our help cometh from the Lord. Uh, yeah. Amen. You can't get nowhere looking down. Uh, you can't get nowhere being depressed. Uh, yeah. The man seen man as trees. Uh, Jesus said you got to get again. Uh, you've been delivered but now I gotta focus you. Uh, some of you all been touched but now you need to get focused. Uh, and you need to focus on Jesus uh, so you can get your total deliverance. Uh, so you can get your total restoration. Uh, sometimes we shop on Sunday. Uh, then we down on Monday uh, because our focus ain't right. Uh, sometimes we ought to heal on Sunday. Uh, but on Monday you gotta search for us uh, because our focus is not right. Uh, but Jesus is here uh, to get your focus right. Uh, the first time he touched the man, uh, he seen man in the streets. Uh, well, he wasn't blind no more, uh, but his focus wasn't right. Uh, so he had to touch him again. Uh, and this is a good time uh, for us to lift our hands in the sanctuary and ask the Lord to touch us again. Uh, come on and lift that hand and say, Lord, touch me again until I see clearly. Uh, Lord, Restore the joy of your salvation. Lord, the devil took my joy, but restore my joy. I'm here to tell you that God is in the restoration business. Whatever you lost, God's going to make that devil pay you double. You lost your joy, but he's going to pay you double. You lost your peace. But it's gonna pay you double. You've been lied on. But it's gonna pay you double. Body been afflicted. But it's gonna pay you double. How is he gonna pay me double? He's gonna do you just like he did Job. The Bible says that Job was covered with swords from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. The says uh, Job's wife uh, looked at Job uh, and told Job uh, you need to curse God and die. Uh, in other words, get this suffering over with. Uh, curse God and die. Uh, the Bible says uh, that Job's children uh, was all in one house uh, celebrating a birthday party uh, and the wind came uh, and killed all ten of his children. Uh, yeah! But the Bible also says, uh, near the end of Job, uh, that God uh, restored Job uh, double uh, for his trouble. Uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, Job's children uh, was restored. Uh, God gave him ten more children. Uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, Job's body, uh, it was healed. Uh, no more boils on him. Uh, here to tell you, your wealth was restored because everything he lost, God replaced it with double. And I'm here to tell you, you've been going through a hard time. You've been going through a difficult time. You've been going through crying times. But I'm here to tell you, we've been.
free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the free people, come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. Uh, and it's just a blessing. with me if you're free. to God, God restore the joy of my salvation. After he had disappointed God and after he had committed adultery with Bathsheba, David asked the Lord to restore to him the joy of his salvation because David had lost his joy. And if you lost your joy, if you lost your peace, I'm here to tell you today, today, the day that you hear God's voice, Harden not your heart, because God is here to restore you. He's here to renew you. Let's all stand. We're getting ready to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for this word. Because you see me different from the way I see myself. And you see me different from the way people sees me. Lord, you see me blessed. Lord, you see me highly favored. Lord, help us to behave that way. Help us to walk like we're blessed. Help us to walk like we're favored. Keep us, Lord, with a mind that is stayed on you. Keep us, Lord, near you. Keep us near you. Keep us near you. Draw us near, Lord. Give us the strength we need. Give us the joy we need. Give us the power and the patience that we need. Be the God of our lives, Lord, and we will tell you thank you. And we will follow you, Lord, for the rest of our days. Lord, these favors and blessings we ask in your name. Let the church say thank God. Come on, give God praise in here. Thank God. Amen. Come on and give them praise. Sister Felicia want to join us today. Become a member. You've been coming. Oh, well, we're going to make it official. Come on, give Sister Felicia a hand. We're going to make it official. Come on, y'all, stand up and give our restoration welcome. Felicia said I was already a member. 
Yes, we're so glad. We're so glad for Sister Felicia. We're so glad for you. I'm glad that you become a part of this church. I'm glad that you already know she was a part of this church. I'm glad about that too. Amen. We're going to officially welcome you. Let's all stand. I don't know where our first lady Oh, she's with the kids. Amen. Our first lady is here. We got a new member. Come on, welcome Sister Felicia to the membership. This is beautiful, y'all. This is beautiful. You want to say something to her? You know, I'm just excited for her. Because when I met her a couple Sundays ago, and she shared her testimony with me, Immediately, I clicked because I know, I, I know everything she's talking about. I've yes. experienced it, and I know that God wants to use her, yes. her situation, yes. her voice, yes. and so I'm happy to have her as a part of my team. Yes, because listen, yes. I need you, <laughs> and you need me. Yes. <laughs> and so I'm just thankful for what God has, has done in her life. But you ain't seen nothing yet. That's going to do more. And God's going to use her to bring other people to him. Yes, to yes, the church. Yes, yes, and so yes. I just want to say, yes. welcome. Welcome, yeah. Come on, let's give Sister Felicia a hand. Amen. Thank God for our new member. Yes, yes. God is in the blessing business. Come, come, come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Those of you that have been watching us live, we thank you for watching us live. And if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can. Our cash app is RW Center. It's our cash app. Dollar sign RW Center is our cash app. And may God bless you and heaven smile upon you is our prayer. And we thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.